Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. Dance Hall Queens to star in upcoming reality series. TJ's hit Bubbly A Body played at funeral. Christopher Martin signs deal with Puma. Queen Ifrika's daughter's freestyle. Vibes Cartel's co-convict gets another life sentence. Police officer endorses the six. Tommy Lee's producer bounces back after depression. Mackerel's father speaks his truth stay tuned for the stories in detail massive 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 a big thank you to all of my new subs all of my new viewers all of my old subs all of my old viewers thank you guys so much i don't know if you know if but for the past couple of days my thomas have been trending number one and i want to say a big thank you a heartfelt thank you to everybody who made that possible no love no respect but let's jump right into the stories a brand new reality show is coming to Jamaica, people. Yes, and it features some of our dancehall queens, Cher, Renee 630, DHQ, and artist Shana Chin. Yes, people. So the reality show will be launched in July on YouTube. As a matter of fact, designer bodies are going to open a branch in Jamaica very, very soon. And it comes right in time for the reality series. So who do you feed, people? Who do you feed? Let me know in the comments section below. Who want to up them body? Let me know in the comments section below. You know this little hashtag was a Jamaica is not a real place. Jamaica is not a real place. I'm gonna check out this video, please. <laughs> TJ bubbly your body all the same with people. Mm, can you imagine that? Pick up yourself, TJ. Christopher Martin recently entered into a partnership with international sportswear company Puma. Christopher welcomes the opportunity to represent the company. He said, and I quote, It's a welcoming and wonderful feeling to see that brand Christopher Martin has been growing on such a global scale that is now teaming up with an internationally known brand such as Puma. It continues to speak volumes that we are doing some things right along the path and I will represent Puma as best as I can, unquote. It's a big deal, Christopher Martin. Yes, yes, yes. Go on, make waves, Christopher. Go on, move in silence. Yes. Go on, do the do, Chris. Big up your nice, clean self. Queen Africa daughter Tansy, a show of her skills, a show of say, yo, and a mommy alone inherit the talent. I got some too. People, check out this freestyle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come see what's in store. You come before and now I got you wanting something more. But love the waist, I go to something that I adore. You tap upon the floor, you feel it like me talk. Well, never know I could have saw this feel. The chemistry between us feel like something real. Give it a pop, I remember stop and squeal. Me up a beg you please. Things are tough like steel. So I squeeze my neck, squeeze my breath. You do it best, you release the stress. Come panty less, I easy access. Yes, sex without ties are the best. Yes, we only not competent. Run where the idiot girl feature me. Shibad, let me know in the comment section below. Vibes Cartel's co convict Kahira Jones was given a second life sentence. Jones was found guilty earlier this week for the 2009 shooting of Shavalo Rodney in Portmore, St. Catherine. He appeared in court last week for his sentencing hearing when a judge slapped him with a whopping 34 years in prison. Kahira Jones is one of the three men convicted with dancehall superstar Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer for the murder of Clive Lizard Williams, 
along with Sean, Sean Storm Campbell, and Andre St. John. What is just a sad news this for the Gaza camp? Like, seriously, sad news. I mean, if you do the crime, you have to just do the time, and I just, I just saw the world set, you see me? And you're innocent until proven guilty. We still the right here, so I wait on the appeal verdict for Vibes Cartel. We don't hear nothing yet, but definitely I will keep you posted. Six is real. The six out here. Can I tell you how the six them out here? The six them be everywhere. Be a care of pass. Everywhere my go I just the six, the six, the six. And this a police officer, I probably feel the same way. Check it out. Six is real. Six is real to blood clot. All the police might never say six. Yo, damn it. All them no acknowledge. It sound like Tamily. No, far from it. <laughs> but anyways, you know, Tamily always a call up damage name. His real name is Dwayne Parkinson. Said that recently he went through one of the most difficult periods in his life. The producer said things got to a point where he felt he would give up on music, but it ended up being the very thing that dug him out of his dark place. He said, and I quote, I sat back and saw my mind go all out. I was at a point in my life where I was going to give up the music because throughout my musical journey, I faced depression, anxiety, and sleepless nights. Not saying I would willingly harm myself, but depression itself is life threatening. I created a ballad type beat based on my mood. When you are depressed, you only attract a particular type of music. And so I released some emotions in the studio in the form of an instrumental. I then went ahead and contacted each artist on the rhythm and explained to them the musical vibe because I wanted each artist to express their experiences on the issue of depression. And before you know it, we had a hit on our hands, unquote. So yes, people. Send out your prayers for damage, you know. Pray that in keep healthy. Because depression is a sickness in a Jamaica. I constantly talk about this on my channel. Depression is real. Psychological problems are real. But Jamaican people, we don't really pay keen attention to these things. We just take it for granted. You understand me? So damage, just go on to the do. Positive vibrations that go out to you. See, I have a massive hit by your hands. Come on. Blessings from Tommy Lee. Big deal. Big deal. And bless me from Chronic Law. Big deal. Yes. Remember that you're loved. Remember that people are look forward to your work damage. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Mackerel family. Mommy mackerel. Stepmom mackerel. Daddy mackerel. Why me I tell you I'll be, I'll be a drama in the mackerel family. Yes, so the father did an interview with the star people and he spoke his truth patrick francis the father of 18 year old internet sensation ladisha mackerel francis whose claim to fame includes defending her stance about taking people's man believes his daughter's life could have been better if her mother charlotte black had been more caring he said and i quote the mother bored her out at school for the blind me did really want to have her, but it was like a tug of war between her mother and I. So Charlotte bored out the little three-year-old when she should have been living with me. Ladisha could live with me and get settled, and then her mother would just come and take her back. And the little girl get depressed again. Me remember one year when school I got give holiday. Someone from the school called me to say that I need to come for Ladisha because no one was going to be there. When I asked the lady where her mother was, she tell me that Charlotte gone a foreign and she not even call me and tell me so I could go for the little girl. It's after 12 me go meet Ladisha bust up the night to carry her home. I found out my baby pregnant when I go court. During the court session, the judge asked Ladisha how her belly fat so, and Ladisha said it's growth she have. Me did shock. Me did feel away so she pregnant. Her mother was supposed to be responsible for her when she get pregnant. 
if my daughter was around me, that wouldn't happen because Ladisha would be comfortable at home. Me not really want to talk about Ladisha baby father because me no want to go to prison. And in reality, it come in like if me chop off him head a foolishness mother do because the little boy I go suffer. He is taking care of the child, but me never want that for my baby. Me would never ever touch my daughter. Me never hear my daughter say anything like that. To be honest, when the police were talking to us, they never talked to all of us together. They had us in separate rooms. Me me a black and ugly, but me never shot a lady yet. Mother never touched my baby, and the little girl never said that. Ladies are not taking anyone, man. Me no want no one act like them want chat and belittle me daughter. Me still don't believe she had take anyone, man. It's just a slang and an image she had portrayed. She have to make her own decision because she's an adult. Me can't go coward down. There you have it. There you have it. You see how the father, the father kind of different to me. The father not basha or nothing. The father seem more compassionate towards mackerel. Why not think people? Two different people, the mother and the father. Clearly, clearly, clearly. And me alone feel so. But anyway, people, the stepmother all get involved between us. Why story of everybody's story today? So according to the stepmother, the mother I can't feelings over man and she had take it out on Ladisha. The stepmother all claims that she buy her a phone so then can get in contact with her. So then can do if anything wrong with her and the mother take it away and a cuss her out. She, the stepmother, believes say your therapy really can't help Ladisha. Ladisha needs love. What on thing, people? It's a classical case of psychology here. Yes, yes, yes. Any psychologist the on my page. Uno can leave for no conclusion. Leave it below, man. Leave for no analysis, please and thank you. Well, that's it for today, people. Want to big up on a nice, clean self? Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations are go to the massive. I'm out of my gone.